Hey guys, today I've got some hot news for you about our beloved Korean actors, and in this edition, we have a lot of controversies, so stick with me until the end to stay updated on everything. But before we dive in, if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, I want to invite you to join our community because your support is very important and helps me keep bringing this content that I create with a lot of care for you all. And let's start with the controversy involving Ji Chan Wook, who recently starred in the drama Welcome to Samdalri as he got involved and had to apologize. The controversy is directly linked to the behind the scenes of this series because at the end of January, as is customary in these productions, a behind the scenes video of the drama was released. The problem is that in this video, Ji Chan Wook was caught using an electronic cigarette in an indoor backstage. And you might be wondering where the controversy lies, as he is an adult man who can have his preferences. We know that each country has its own rules, and this may seem quite normal in other countries, but in South Korea, it is illegal to smoke or vape in public places except in designated smoking areas, and therefore the image has generated a lot of controversy, leading the production team of Welcome to Samdalri to remove the scene from the video. The scenes have already been taken down, but in the screenshots, we can see the small space was crowded with many staff members and fellow actors, including Shin Hai Sun. In response to the criticism, the actor's agency, Spring Company, issued a formal statement expressing their apologies, and in one excerpt they mentioned that Ji Chang Wook acknowledges that his behavior was inappropriate and feels sorry for disappointing many people. On the other hand, Shin Hai Sun was praised for her behavior in the face of the situation, and her efforts to deliver her lines from the script rehearsal without losing her smile were highlighted, despite sitting next to Ji Chan Wook, and even though she might have been uncomfortable with the smoke, she did not frown and continued with a smile on her face. And now for some slightly more serious news than the previous one, and it's about the actor An Hai Siop, whom you may remember from his roles in Business Proposal and more recently I Time Called You, among other successful K-dramas. Because conversations between him and the former training idol, Han Sehi, were exposed online where in the dialogue she insists that the actor come to the hotel where she is staying so that they could have fun together, and he did not respond to her, and when she realizes she wasn't reciprocated, she starts to become aggressive and offend him, even going as far as to threaten his life, so the situation really escalated to a very serious level, and in response to the situation, Anhyo Siop filed a complaint against Han Sei, and she claimed that these conversations were false and that they were manipulated, and all of this was to harm her career. However, as presented in the complaint by Anhyo Siop's liar, she herself had sent screenshots of the conversation in an anonymous chat on Kakeo Talk. And these conversations went viral, taking on this magnitude. For those who are not familiar, Han Sehi is a former trainee of YG Entertainment who has been involved in several scandals, has been arrested for drug use multiple times, and has defamed various famous artists. Now the case is in the hands of justice, so let's follow the outcome of this case, hoping that the truth prevails. Now let's talk about actor Lee Min Ho because many people miss him as it's been almost two years since his last work, and he is returning now in 2024 in the drama When the Stars Gossip, which will focus on a romance between an obstetrician and a Korean-American astronaut. This series has a very high budget, already considered one of the most expensive dramas in the history of South Korean series because it has many scenes simulating a protagonist in a rocket in space. The controversy is that there is still no platform to stream it because rumors were that it would come out on Netflix. However, we know that the platform has already released its entire schedule for 2024, and when the stars gossip was not on that list. Of course, we know that Netflix can include other dramas in its catalog that are not on its schedule, but it's a new release, and not just any, because it features one of the most popular Korean actors. So, we should have several platforms vying for this program. However, there is nothing about it yet. Let's hope we get more details as soon as possible. And now about the cast of this drama that skyrocketed in ratings, because Park Min Young, who stars in the drama Marry My Husband, will join the cast and crew for a vacation in Vietnam in mid-March. The trip was organized as a thank you for the dedication and success of the drama and is scheduled to last for five days starting from March 10th. We wish them a great rest. And taking advantage of the topic of Marry My Husband, next week we'll have the last two episodes, and I'll bring here on the channel a review of how the series ended, where I'll comment if it was worth watching, and if it really managed to meet our expectations, so stay tuned to the channel to not miss any new videos. And those were today's news, I'll be back soon with more hot news for you, so if you liked it, don't forget to leave your like. I'll leave it here, and I'll see you in the next video.